see with our all comforts to see the electricity of the skills of live with our housing facility and live natural without disability. This is the only way that I can see to be able to truly free. Hi, everybody. Over Bruce to me again. Uh, I know it's probably been um, a quite longer enough time since I ever you know, did another video, but I just been feeling so quite tired enough lately. Yeah, quite too tired to feel like doing anything for some reason. And uh, I just, I was still feeling quite enough like that today. So that's where I did uh, write or type up any notes before doing this video. So if there's any um, spots that uh, you know, I have long enough pauses from, you know, if I, if I um, can't think of what I want to say, the next thing that I want to say or, or how I want to say it, then I'll just have to have the long enough pauses edited out. And, um, okay. One thing that I want to bring up, try bring up here is I hope uh, the Vinci Resolve will still keep recording my audio if I minimize it so I can bring up um, an animation program called uh, Blender. Yeah, Blender. Oh yeah, um, I forgot to say uh, about that being what this video is. See, this video is going to be one showing showing a project I started in Blender and then an animation project. Okay, I think it looks like, uh, you know, audio of, um, you know, f for my wireless mic. I think it looks like it is still getting recorded in DaVinci Resolve even when I had it minimized. But to, to show what I'm doing in Blender, I, I guess it's because um, I have DaVinci Resolve recording audio of me at the same time. Bandicam keeps pausing the recording. I'm just gonna I'm not be able to have wireless mic audio of me while I'm showing what you know, I'm doing it in Blender. Okay, um, because of the fact that I've just been just getting started still lately in Blender, now that's where I haven't been worrying about doing any world building. Because because of the fact that when I've still just been starting in Blender, that, you know, and, and that's also why I haven't also started creating any character either to animate. You know, when I'm just, you know, still just only getting started in Blender, then, then I feel that my first thing you know, to, to just try to do is is this like you know the cube that shows up that first shows up and when, when you first um, open uh, you know, uh, Blender 
or open a, a new project new under yeah yeah because of the fact of i still this game started in blender that, that yeah that's where the, the cube that, that that's where I, 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 all, all i do all i just worry about is this is this uh finding out how to animate the cube that you see when, when you first uh open up blender or or open a new project in blender okay so at least right now i've got this um left and right movement animation going Now what I just um, uh, next is all right. Uh, I'm getting the cube up and then press I. I have to move the bottom of um, the bottom part of bandy cam up a little bit. So I can get the slider there. All right, now I'll, I'll press V to move it back down. Start off, it started over again. Well, that's not going there. It's Now, 1.30 p.m. I'll, I'll just cut um, that part of Bandicam video uh, of, of how I got to move up and down, showing me getting it to move up and down. I'll just cut that, take that cut of, or portion of video, of screen recorded video, and, and put them together, or copy and paste it over in the video project so that it'll go again two times at least well you all at least seen you know me being able to get the the cube also moving up and down and then i'm also um you know do the same thing to, to also get to uh also go around like that so 
Anyway, I'll just have to keep you know, without having just um, only just having got started lately in in Blender. I'll just I'll just have to keep you know find out what does what like that like right now at least you know if, I'll have to at least you know just find out how to animate the cube in all directions and then um, go from there. Yeah, th then, um, you know, find out what the next step up is that, that I need to do to get learning the, the next thing that um, I need to learn in Blender. Now, now what I uh, want to talk about is about um, doing the um, nomadic bike, bicycle tourist lifestyle. See, I, I didn't type up notes, as I said, for this video. So now I'm trying to think of uh, what was that I was going to start saying about that. And that is that, well, I do um, have an appointment with Social Security on, th on the 20th of this month. I feel I have to probably um, keep my fingers crossed about, you know, if I'm about to get my disability money back. I feel like I gotta hope that that they um, decide, that, you know, that, you know with, with the help of a woman from a coffee house place called the you know, Barnabas here in Chippewa Falls, I'm, I'm having her help me on, on getting my disability back. And so with having her go with me to the appointment, you know, I, I feel that, felt that she was a, a good one to help me on this because of um, credentials, she told me, of uh, having worked in customer service at, I don't know, what, I don't remember what stores or whatever that she said, and there being other credentials. I think I remember her also, you know, mentioning, you know, in the medical field, they probably having, uh, you know, probably haven't um, sat at one of those computers like out in you know um you know the the waiting room at a clinic or or, or maybe a hospital that um yeah i i guess that's what, what kind of job she might have had in, a, in a, a clinic or a hospital out in the, out in the waiting room where they said the computers I, I remember her saying you know having mentioned about some other you know credential or so in, in, in that order that, um, you know, she's good at, you know, where she'd be good at, um, you know, helping me get my disability money back. So I don't know uh, how, how much I can totally depend on, on, on Social Security giving me my disability money back, but um, I'll, I'll just have to see uh, when I go to the appointment. Then, um, well, if I just did just the long distance bicycle touring thing, then I'd have the money. You know, I'd have money to, like, in case of uh, any uh, tire flats happening or or, or other you know, bike breakdown, you know, things happening. I'd have, you know, hopefully uh, enough money to. You know, to get a tire flat fixed, yeah, I probably would. Yeah, ho hopefully, uh, or if I had some, you know, other, you know, bike breakdown, you know, thing happen, ho hopefully, I'd have enough money to, to, to get that fixed. You know, like at at the, you know, nearest, wherever the nearest bike shop is, if I went out doing the long distance bicycle touring thing. You know, the thing where I still think about doing the uh, nomadic bicycle tourist lifestyle thing is because even with all the things that are nice about, you know, being in an apartment, you know, having an apartment to live in. At the same time, though, the thing that I still you know, feel like, like I still like about about the uh, the nomadic bicycle tourist lifestyle is 
the thing um, where I wanted to get to do the nomadic bicycle tourist lifestyle in the first place is because because of um, you know believing you know myself to 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 always have had a a, a nomadic streak in me that that I could like couldn't put re put my finger on until until um, you know after having moved as many times as, as I did in the past and then then after hearing that black guy Tim Ward on YouTube you know say that he chose the nomadic lifestyle because he he, he just got sick and tired of, of his whole life and his whole world being just all one area that's that's still a thing that even with all the things that are nice about being back in an apartment that that's still the thing that's still I, I can't feel still feeling like it's still really like you know about the the nomadic bicycle tourist lifestyle is 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 the thing of of not being stuck down to just one area to, uh, just one town or in, in, or just one area all the time. It, it just comes in the mind about about you know really possibly enough getting sick and tired of the same town or the same area here. When it comes to that that one you know cow girl woman yeah cow girl woman at that um, free laundry thing called Blood Me Load. Um, you know, when it comes to her having said to me about, you know, people people here that that have, um, you know, worked hard to, to help get me in this apartment and that, um, you know, people are, are only gonna, you know, stick their foot out for you only so much. Yeah, um, when it comes to um, a, a YouTube video that I found again lately, that, that I watched a long, that I found and watched a long time ago, but um, you know, found again, you know, just yesterday, and, and watched and listened to it again uh, of this um, this young black woman who um, you know was talk, talking about you know living the. Uh, the nomadic lifestyle on on a bicycle, yeah, yeah, doing uh, the, the bicycle touring kind of nomadic lifestyle. It, yeah, it said moneyless in, in the title. It, it said moneyless. And so she was she was doing it moneyless, and that's what I feel. I probably should have just did um, what I could see for sure that that my disability had gotten cut off. I should have just you know went and done it moneyless. And, um, or, you know, or otherwise have just temp jobbed it, you know, everywhere. I, yeah, I should just start getting going. Um, the the July of 2023, I should I should just yeah, that was why I was gone for sure. Start getting going, you know, off to doing the the or living the the nomadic bike tourist lifestyle was was uh, July of 2023 uh, even after I found that it, it looked like my disability you know, money had gotten cut off then I feel I, I should just just start going you know off to living the bicycle tourist nomad lifestyle anyway and and have just you know gotten you know temp jobbing it everywhere then I wouldn't you know even have to worry about that about you know the thing of uh you know, people here having worked hard to get me in here, because because then I I wouldn't still be around here in in, in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. I would have been in the same day. You know, I, I would have been you know arriving in in, in some other town or, or city. I should have made the plan then to uh, you know make sure to uh, arrive in whatever next town or city had, um, you know, the temp job agencies to uh, work at, you know, getting a, a temp job at, and, you know, find, and find out uh, 
what temp jobs there may have been and, and where. And then um, I would have just had to also look for uh, you know a place you know to to camp, you know, spots to camp, and and then you know then, then having then if I would have been if there would have been a you know any type of job or, or jobs you know in, in the area of, of um, whatever, whatever next town or city would have had uh, you know, any type of jobs um, then you know wherever I would have be, be, or besides whatever um, you know the spots I would have found that came out that I would have, you know then you know when that, whenever the temp job started, I, I, I would then have to just you know, make sure that I got um, my tent and everything packed up. I would have started, you know, getting up um, at a time in the morning that that I would have been out to get you know, my tent and everything packed up, and then and then get going off to the temp job to you know, to, to work at, at at the temp job at, at whatever time that that the temp job was for. Or, or we're starting it. Yeah, I feel now that I, I really would have liked to have um, thought of just doing that. Of, of just you know, uh, you know, even after, um, even after looking in July, you know, like like my, you know, disability might got cut off, or or like even after. You know, somebody, somebody, because somebody told me um, that that my um, my disability may could have just been, you know, going in, in my bank, my my Gary State Bank account in 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 Rice Lake late, possibly because of the the, the uh, Fourth of July holiday. Yeah, that's where um, I, I I feel I should have just after the Fourth of July holiday. Yeah, for sure. After the Fourth of July holiday, when I could see that that my disability money still wasn't um, you know showing up in, in my in that bank account of mine, then yeah, I I, I should have just got going anyway. I I, I should just get going anyway off to living the the nomad bicycle tourist lifestyle, and then just doing that. Just um, making a plan to um, to to make it to the next town or city that that um, it, it, you know, has a, you know temp job agencies that that could get a, a temp job at and, and, and finding spots you know to camp where where I could camp without getting any, any trouble about about camping. I guess that's everything that I can think of wanting to, to talk about. But then I'll say goodbye everybody. Also they're from people and their descendants. The um are from the mix which makes a true dependence. That's why you see the tree homelessness like it's a sin. Cause you're up like from the matrix to be plugged in. Even being homeless I didn't care. I felt that would be free to just live everywhere.